I would like to show a modification for a very nice seated joint mobilization into extension of the thoracic spine. And I've shown this in another video lesson, uh, and here we're going to show two modifications for the client's pectoral region. But first, just to have a sense of this, I'm going to place my hands clasped together like this, and they're going to be right midline against the spinous processes of her thoracic spine. My goal will be to push in toward extension. So let's go ahead and now start this with its default positioning. Reach your arms up, back behind me, and I come around in front, and you can take your hands and clasp them together. I now have my contact against your thoracic spine, and now I kind of stand up and push anteriorly, and I get a really nice joint mobilization extension of her thoracic spine, just like this. Now, the other thing that's happening, though, is the pectoralis region is also getting quite a stretch. And if I do this and I say, do you feel this? And she says, yes. And I say, where do you feel it? And she points to the pectoralis region and says, no, don't go anymore. That's what's you know, stopping the, the technique here. Then that means that I need to somehow slacken the pecs so I can do this more effectively for the thoracic mobilization. Now, one thing we can do is you can let go of your hands and you can let them reach out. And right there, that will slacken the pecs a bit compared to reaching farther back. Also, some clients can't reach all the way back anyway, so you have to let them do that. But my client here is still in lateral rotation of the arm at the shoulder joint, which will be quite a stretch on the pec major. So if I want to slacken the pec major, I'll invite her to immediately rotate her arms like this. And now you can relax. And now when I push up here, at least the pec major is knocked out of the stretch, so it's more likely that I can put the force in to mobilize the thoracic spine into extension. So we'll just review that very quickly. Reach back around. Clasp your hands, Catherine. This is the default posture for this technique. One modification is let your hands unclasp and just be comfortable there. Here is one modification. And then the second one is right there, immediately rotating the arms at the glenohumeral shoulder joints. And that's the second modification to try to direct this protocol technique more toward thoracic extension mobilization and less toward pectoralis musculature stretch. If you liked this video, know that it is part of our video streaming subscription service. Click the link below for more information and receive a free ebook when you sign up.